2020, I will miss you so much. I will always remember our special moments, whether it was a special handshake, Yahania, or Teslam Idik, Ya Miss Inas, after writing the daily party task, Lani Shabrawi, or answering back, Miss and Miss Ayaouf, after Salah Rashwan comes to the office and greets me, Miss and Miss Ayaouf. Lots and lots of special moments, scrumptious cookies of Nurhan, Fouda. I will always miss you. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart. Stay safe and good luck. Dear seniors, congratulations on your graduation. I know it's not the typical graduation that you've expected, but sometimes life doesn't give us what we expect, but I'm sure it's holding a lot of beautiful things for you in the future. I love you. I miss you. We've been through a lot together inside our math class and outside on our beautiful trips. I wish you all the best. Stay safe, be strong, and be happy. Hello, class of 2020. Hope you're doing great and staying safe as well. Uh, it was a pleasure teaching you, and sometimes it was a pain teaching you. Uh, I'd like to mention that I'm so sad not to share this moment with you physically, but you must always remember that my heart and my thoughts is and will be with you forever. Take care of yourselves and good luck, seniors. Thanks of 2020. You guys finally did it. Congratulations. Mabruk. You graduated. <laughs> Wow, what a roller coaster, huh? What a tough year, but you guys finally did it. I'm so proud of you. We're going to miss you so much. You guys always lit up the hallways, and I'm just really going to miss that. I've had the privilege of teaching most of you and being able to monitor your classwork. So I just want to say how much I am proud of every single one of you. You guys are rock stars. You are amazing. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Good luck in everything. I hope you have an amazing future. Don't forget us. Stay in touch and visit. I'm going to miss you. Habaybi, mabrook ala al-takharruk. Wallahi kan nafsina nkun ma'aakwa dilwaqti. Nahtifad ma'a ba'ad. Nafteked illi kan biyahsar fil fasl. Wa khususan li munaqashat illi kan dayman bitibqa bin Mustafa Sharif wa Maryam Mustafa. Taban kullu wahid fi kulli zikrayat ma'aya. Muhim, rabbina wafaqku fi al-mustaqbal illi gai insha'Allah wa rabbina wafaqku في الجامعه اللي كل واحد فيكم اختارها و هتوحشونا بتعذرونا Congratulations class of 2020 I'm so proud of you you've come such a long way since 7th grade history class um, we've had a great ride together CG and E debates my history girls this year um, best of luck to you and to the entire class I know that the graduation and senior year did not go as planned but you need to know that life does not give you what you plan for most of the time, so be prepared for that. Uh, I really miss you and I really love you and I know that you're special and you will look back at all of this and you will laugh about it because you'll have a lot of memories. And you need to know that you're special, Begad. And I wish you all the best. Uh, I know that every one of you has something very unique that will make him, yani, I love you. Hi, Sinus. Uh, I hope you're all well safe. I wish you the very best of luck in your future. Please keep shining as you always do. Uh, I will miss you so very much. I already do. I miss my computer science class. My little five students in computer science. I miss my yearbook students. Uh, thank you so very much for everything that you did in your book along the years. Uh, Mars Island trip was the best thing that ever happened uh, this school year. Connecting with you, seeing how positive, genuine, happy, kind you are inside out. Miss you and can't wait to see after all of this is over. Love you. Stay safe. Our graduating class of 2020, I will miss you all so much. Uh, I've had the honor of teaching all of you back in grade 10. Uh, we had so many lovely memories together. This year I was lucky enough to teach two of the senior classes, the IP Math Studies class, my mini class, 
Amir, Khairi, Noor, and Nadine. I miss everything about this small group. Our discussions, our pizza parties, everything about you. This year, I was also lucky to teach my AD seniors, Madras Tirum Shagbin, with all the challenges, my endless attempts trying to finish the lesson, and your endless attempts trying to waste time or uh, postpone deadlines or cancel quizzes. I will miss you all. I will miss seeing your faces in the hallway. I will miss you asking about my secret drawer of chocolates and biscuits. I will miss our discussions. Take care, stay safe. Hopefully we will soon get to celebrate together when this is over. I love you all. Dear seniors, Alpha Mawru, I'm very happy for you guys and I'm very proud of you. You guys made it through very tough times. It's only gotta get better from here inshallah. I wish you all the best in the coming few years in university and beyond. And if you ever, for any reason, happen to be in Bahrain in the next few years, I will be more than happy to see you. And I'm sure you know how to find me. Yeah, salam. Year group 2020. Yeah, it's true. You graduated. You're no longer school students. Believe it. It's not a secret that your year group is very important to me. It's a very special place in my heart. Listen, I'll prove it. I've chosen one of you, a boy. I'm going to take him in. He'll live with me and my family, and I will treat him as long as I live like a son to me. This is my proof that you're very special to me. With regards to your graduation, it's happening. With regards to your future, you're ready. For some of you, you're ready because of your tenacity, perseverance, intelligence, commitment. For others, you're still ready for your own set of very unusual, untraditional talents. Good luck. Good evening, AIS West family. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2020.
Let us now recognize the national anthem of Egypt and of the United States. I'm pleased to welcome to the podium the director of the American International School in Egypt West Campus, Dr. Les Potter. Good evening, parents, guests, and students. I am very proud and honored to be here tonight at our 2020 AIS West graduation. This is our 11th year anniversary of the opening of this wonderful school. I want to personally thank Mr. Walid Abishaka for his vision in creating our school 11 years ago. This year is our biggest graduating class with 73 students. Of this group, 28 students completed the full IB program, 21 students completed the full American Diploma program, and 24 students completed IB certificates with American Diploma program. 13 students are graduating with a GPA of 3.3 and 3.69. Twenty-one students are graduating with high honors with a GPA of 3.7 or above. We have 18 members of the National Honor Society. Seniors, I only wish you the very best in the future, and please know that you're always part of the AIS West family. I am pleased to welcome the senior honor teacher that was chosen by the class of 2020. Dr. Darin Abulios has been a member of the AIS West family since 2016. Dr. Darin teaches IB biology. She has a huge and lasting impact on this graduating class. She is the role model and has always been available to support them. I am pleased to welcome Dr. Darin Abulios to give her speech to this group. Dear Honored School Board, 
colleagues, parents, and my beloved graduates. You have probably heard the word supernatural before. Maybe some of you witnessed this in a movie or a documentary, but I'm quite sure that personally experiencing for real such a thing is rare or almost impossible. In definition, supernatural means departing from what, from what is usual or normal, especially so as to appear to transcend the laws of nature. And the laws of nature are infinite, as we all know. It's true that we're not aware of all, but some of it at least. One law of nature claims a human being is never 100% happy. But why? We always ask that question. The meaning of happiness differs from one person to another. Some say it's being healthy or wealthy. Others say it's being successful in a career or a job. Some others say it's being lucky. A bunch of people find happiness in serving others or being served by others. A mom, for instance, would describe happiness as having her kids safe and healthy around her. Friends would admit happiness being around their fellows and spending some good time. Religious people would assure that happiness is in being loved and blessed by God, and many other definitions to happiness. Accordingly, it's so hard to find people agreeing to one specific definition to happiness, because basically happiness is all of that together. But people never agree, because having all of that means you have the happiness of all people. Or in other words, having 100% happiness. Something that nature does not agree with. Something supernatural. But today, I'm here to loudly and proudly disagree with nature by evidence that I will strongly reveal through several declarations. Today I'm standing over here celebrating the graduation of my beloved. Frankly speaking, I'm not sure what to call you. Call you my beloved students, or my beloved kids, or my beloved friends. It's so easy to, de to declare you guys as my beloved, but so hard to further describe it. What we had, and what we have now, and what we will have, is too big to be expressed in words. Having the honor to know, interact and live, for four whole, four, four whole years, surrounded by people like you, my beloved, with your beautiful hearts, kindness, gentleness, sense of humor, and, and much more, is in itself good luck. This good luck drove me the chance to teach and accompany you through your learning journey that wasn't only yours, but mine as well. I did learn. And, we did, and, and, and you did teach me a lot. You taught me a new meaning for being a teacher. You proved to me that teaching is not just a profession or a career to convey knowledge to others, but teaching you in itself is an ocean of experience and learning too many lessons of life beyond the ones we could find in books. I made a fortunate out of life knowledge through you. Today, I declare myself lucky. Today, I declare myself wealthy. Being a medical school graduate and saying I'm a doctor when asked about my profession earlier have always been so honoring. Something that used to give me pride because it's a proof to being clever and scoring high academically. But today, whenever I'm asked about my profession, I find myself raising my head up high, smiling with assurance and answering out loud. I am a teacher. People wonder, but I always smile back again and say, go and check my students and how they look like. Go and, go and check how successful they are, how, no, how knowledgeable they have become, and how helpful and beneficial to humanity they will be. Maybe you might understand. Maybe you might understand why being a teacher to people such as those gives me the pride of cleverness and success much more than being titled anything else. Today, I declare myself successful. Throughout our journey together, me and you, my beloved, we managed to create a pile of memories. Memories of quality time from all aspects. From an academic perspective, attending our cozy biology class, discussing and discovering together the secrets of life 
and linking it to the greatness of our Creator. Experiencing together the meaning of curiosity and the joy when satisfying it. Serving your curiosity and insistence to always know and learn new things I already knew generates you the joy of satisfaction and at the same time serves me the bliss of being a factor in that, a mutual relationship. This makes me clearly declare myself as a person who served and have been served as well. And about our memories on a humanitarian level, sitting together during break time, ordering food together, or you sneak into my lunchbox, chit-chatting and telling stories and secrets, even softly arguing about someone or something, discussing future plans, complaining personal fears or personal problems, and trying to find each other a way or solutions, going out together, even sleeping in our cozy classroom when so tired, and much more to tell that one single speech is not enough, a true atmosphere of a true friendship. Hereby, I declare myself blessed with good friends, loyal companions, sharing endless fun time. It's true I'm not physically a mom, as I never physically had kids. However, you permitted me to practice motherhood in an unordinary way. Feeling being a mom at times, not to one, two, or even ten kids at a time, but much more. Standing here today, healthy on my feet, knowing that you're all present, healthy and safe as well, I can make my final declaration that yes, I'm the happy mom, having my kids safe, healthy, and above all successful. I am among the Lord's beloved and the Lord's intensely blessed creatures. Finally, and after the several declarations I confessed, I can surely admit that I am 100% happy, since I have all the happiness declared by different people, all because of you. Only you, my beloved, you made me supernatural. May God bless you all, give you all sorts of happiness, and guide your ways to stay as kind, helpful, and inspiring to yourselves and others forever. Thank you. I am pleased to welcome the secondary school principal of the AIS West Campus, Mr. Mark Tennant. This is Mr. Tennant's 10th year in AIS. He worked for eight years at Main Campus and two years in the West Campus as secondary principal. Please welcome to the podium Mr. Mark Tennant. I'm very pleased to be here tonight to celebrate all of our hardworking and successful seniors. I'm sure I will be hearing a lot of wonderful things about you in the very near future. First of all, I would like to introduce our salutatorian, Salma Abdul Hamid. Salma earned the second highest GPA for her junior year and semester one of her senior year. Good morning, friends, family, teachers, and administrators. If I were asked what I've taken away from 12 years of education, I would pin my answer down to a pencil. Not for its mere function, but for its meaning throughout the past 12 years. As we sit in exam and grip our pencils so tightly competing against time, our pencils became the tools that sculpted our success. From learning the alphabet to understanding the functions of the human body, we are not only sharpening our pencils, but also our skills. This has led me to truly learn that the power of knowledge does not lie in writing good essays or acing tests, but rather in the application of these skills as we approach the real world. The school has gifted us with an education that provides endless opportunities. However, the most valuable gift that we will carry as we follow our, our dreams is the ability to use that very pencil to draw out our own path. For that gift, and for getting me where I am today, I want to begin by thanking my teachers and administrators. Better yet, my mentors, who have dedicated many hours to help me compose a well-rounded and versatile profile. I want to thank Ms. Kaysen for her patience and guidance in helping me seek the path I wish to pursue. I want to thank my friends and family who are always there when I need them. And I'm sure I speak on behalf of my entire class when I say that we wouldn't have gotten here today without the support of the AIS West community and our family. Given the current circumstances, working collaboratively has never been such a high as it is today. Evidently, this ceremony speaks for the power of collaboration. 
as we gather to celebrate new beginnings. We could spend hours reminiscing about the past 12 years, embracing the feelings of nostalgia, but as we come to an end, we should all know that the memories we have built together will last forever. Hence, it would be better to focus on where we would be headed in the next four years as we sharpen our pencils and continue learning new skills. Although we've experienced a very unexpected turn of events, the graduating class of 2020 will go down in history and never for long. So for this title, congratulations, you've made it. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to introduce our valedictorian who earned the highest GPA for her junior year and semester one of her senior year. Our valedictorian is Sara El Ghazar. Let's start from the beginning. It's September 2nd, the first day of senior year and our last first day of school. Dressed in our pink shirts, we're excited to walk through the school doors with balloons in hand. In that week, I cannot count how many times our excitement got us into trouble. But then, as the months went on and reality of our future set in, we had to get used to the fact that we actually had to work. Classes became harder, deadlines were approaching, and let's not forget 730 Club. The truth is, we only knew how much we wanted to stay when we recently found out that we couldn't come back to school. And that is when I realized how much I would miss every flag salute, every class, and every lunch break spent in the senior lounge with my friends. I always like to remember Senior Ditch Day. The class of 2020 decided to skip school and have a desert barbecue. When we arrived, we spotted an AIS West bus in the distance. Apparently, there was a field trip there that same day. We were all shocked and started laughing, waving at the security guards, teachers, and children. That was the moment I thought to myself, no matter what we do or how far we go, AIS West will always be a part of us. AIS West has been my second home for 10 years. Within these walls, I've learned and grown to become the person I am today. Although challenging at times, both academically and socially, I've been encouraged to work hard and to succeed. Since my first day here, back in 2009, the nurturing and motivating environment has cultivated my skills and values that I will carry with me into the next chapter of my life. It goes without saying that all of this would be impossible without the guidance of the most patient and hardworking group of people. I would like to thank all of our teachers throughout the years who have worked hard to give us the chance to reach our aspirations. Your role as educators is a demanding one, and we are truly appreciative of your efforts in pushing us to become the best possible version of ourselves. Thank you for putting up with us and caring for us as you would your own children. And lastly, thank you to some for your endless supply of snacks. To all the parents who are the reason we are fortunate enough to reach this point of celebrating our academic achievements, thank you for your endless support. I would like to specifically thank my parents, beginning with my mom. A strong woman who constantly gives her everything for her children and for dealing with my not so occasional IB breakdowns. I would also like to thank my dad for guiding me through my decisions, prioritizing my happiness and personal growth. And lastly, my siblings, Nadia and Alexandre, for being my best friends through it all. Now finally, I would like to address you guys, my graduating classmates. I cannot express how grateful I am to have been a part of our growing family since the very beginning. We started our journey as a class of eight students in 2009 and are ending it as a class of 73 a decade later. With every week without Wall Strip, every outing, and every argument on our WhatsApp group, we become closer, now standing together as one, a family. A family that has grown up together, learned together, and most importantly, has made lifelong memories together. Although in a few years, I can assure you I'll forget the parts of the plant or even calculus altogether, I'll never forget the moments we shared as a class of 2020, one extremely special group of individuals. Our spirit is truly unmatched. Now, in June of 2020, we're preparing to close a chapter of our lives. I wish I could tell you all of this in person, and the graduation ceremony our final year has been building up to. Although the end of our senior year wasn't what we had imagined it to be, I know that we could never pass up an opportunity to celebrate us. So let's celebrate individually for now, and as soon as the time comes, there is no doubt in my mind that we'll make up for it, just like we always do. So, to my classmates, my second family, I would like to thank you. Thank you for all the times we spent laughing, fighting, and crying. The late nights in Marsalem, breaking curfew in Berlin several times, and of course, taking over Pasta Zita. Reflecting back on the moments we've shared, I think to myself, how lucky we are to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard.
Thank you. I'm pleased to welcome the high school counselor of AIS West campus, Ms. Fifi Kaysem, to present the superintendent award. Ms. Kaysem has worked very closely with this class and has established strong bonds with them. Please welcome Ms. Fifi Kaysem. Congratulations to class 2020. The superintendent award is presented to a student that goes far and beyond norm expectation to support the IIS West mission. The awarded student has taken strong responsibility for her own learning and well-being. She has contributed positively to the school community and respected the cultural diversity we foster. Not only that, she always comes to school with a beautiful smile on her face, ready to help others and face her daily challenges with those smiles. She is always respectful and polite to all people around. We are honored and proud to present the superintendent to Malak Kamal. Congratulations. The Educational Collaborative for International Schools, ECIS, award is designed to recognize students who are actively involved in promoting intercultural understanding. The awarded student holds the following qualities. Be a good representative of their own country. Be positive in their attitude towards life and culture of others. Be a contributing force in the life of the school. Be known for bringing different people together in a sense of community, thus furthering the cause of intercultural understanding. I am pleased to present this award to Mustafa Sharif. Mr. Abu Shakr, as the secondary principal of the American International School in Egypt, West Campus, I certify that the students graduating today of the class of 2020 have met the requirements set forth by the AIS Board of Directors, Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools, International Baccalaureate Organization, and the Egyptian Ministry of Education. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the graduates of class of 2020. I would now like to welcome Ms. Ines Shahata to read the names of our graduating seniors. Ahmed Mohammed Bahaeddin Mohammed Sayyid Abdullah Ismail Omar Adel Abdel Hay Abdel Aziz Ahmed Abdel Aziz Ali Abdel Aziz Nadin Ahmed Yusri Mohammed Abdel Aziz Maryam Mohammed Hazem Ahmed Amin Abdel Hafiz Salma Sayyid Ali Abdul Hamid Lina Rafat Ali Noor Jasim Mohammed Hashim Abdul Rahman Al Kohaji Malak Mohammed Abdul Moaz Hussein Ali Zahra Ziyad Mohammed Wafi Ahmed Ali Karma Sharif Munir Amir هانيا أحمد مدحة عبد الله أنيس هانيا كريم محمد أنيس أمنة فتحي عريبي سيف النصر ممدوح سيف النصر مقبل عشور يوسف أيمن حشمة بطرس نور عمر دراز مريم عادل فتحي صالح دربالة عمر الشيخ سالم ليلى هشام عبد المنعم علي الأعصر جانا كريم ممدوح العدوي أمير علاء البيلي علي إيهاب محمد عادل أحمد الدنف هيا تامر محمد سامي العزبي سارة الجزار جانا عمر أحمد عمر الكاشف ملك محمد أحمد القصراوي نوران فاروق هاني أحمد اللبودي زينة علاء عمر الليثي ندى محمد طاهر الصباغ 
ليلى أحمد عادل السماوي زينة خالد محمد السرجاني تايا محمد صادق عماد السويدي علي أحمد عبد الحكم الشبراوي جميلة حسام سلامة جودة الشاعر جود أحمد مصطفى الشناوي هنا سمير حامد عبد الهادي الشربيني سما شرف حامد الشربيني حاتم وليد حاتم عبد الحليم الزمر أمير ناجي سامي فهمي مهند أبو الفتح عبد الفتاح عبد الجليل فرج نورهان محمد أبو الفتوح محمد فودة ملك حسن سعيد جماعي ناتاليا يوسف كمال بطرس حنة ملك كمال عمر محمد صلاح الدين خيري أحمد محمد سعد محمد أحمد لبنة عبد الرحمن محمد جاد أحمد محمد ليلى أحمد جمال الدين محمد عبد الله محمد عبد الله علي مصطفى مريم محمد فاروق مصطفى نور محمد أحمد صلاح الدين مصطفى شهد خالد مجدي عيسى مصطفى يوسف محمد محمود أحمد مصطفى أحمد عصام محمد محي الدين محمد إبراهيم عمران فاد هاني عادل فؤاد رمزي زينة رشاد صلاح أحمد صلاح الدين عدلي رشوان طار علاء الدين وجيه رجدي أحمد هشام أحمد كمال الدين عبد العزيز سعداوي هالة صباغ حبيبة طلة حسام الدين محمد مصطفى سلامة محمد عمر علي سرحان حسين عبد الرحمن صلاح شهبندر مصطفى محمد طلعت عبد القادر شريف يحيى هشام يحيى محمد شتا تقى خالد شعيب هيا محمد احمد سلطان حسين عمرو ايهاب سيف النصر طنطاوي يوسف عمرو ايهاب سيف النصر طنطاوي رامي عبد الرؤوف توفيق فاروق احمد فاروق وشاحي محمد باسم محمد صلاح عبد السلام يوسف graduates of the American International School in Egypt West Campus class of 2020 please stand For over a century, turning of the tassels has symbolized the ending of one chapter in the book of educational progress and the opening of the next chapter. AIS West Class of 2020, please turn your tassels in a symbolic gesture of the completion of your high school years. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I give you the graduates of the Class of 2020. Oh, 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 
can't put out Carve your name into those shining stars He said go venture far beyond the shores Don't forsake this life of yours I'll guide you home no matter where you are One day my father, he told me Son, don't let it slip away When I was just a kid, I heard him say He said one day you'll leave this world behind